Who on earth are you? You don't look like the others. What others? Well, the mages who are hanging around these ruins over there. Are you one of that bunch then? Brave thing to run around here by yourself. Who are you? I'm sure you've heard of me before. I'm Alligator Jack, feared all over the country. I'm one of the most dangerous pirates around here. Together with Captain Greg, I've boarded more merchant vessels than I can count. You're looking at a living legend here. Do you know a fellow named Raven? Of course. He's the leader of the bandits to the east. What's your business with him? I've got to kill him. <laughs> what? You? How are you going to do that? Isn't that guy way out of your league? You won't even get close to him. The bandits he surrounded himself with will skin you alive first. You won't even get past their first outpost. The way you look, those bandits will get itchy fingers when they spot you a mile away. I've got a better idea. Come and join us. That'll give you time to think about it. Once you've tried our good home-brewed rum, things will look very different. Your captain's name is Greg? Right. He's the greatest pirate the sea ever spawned. I think I know your captain. I met him in Corinus. <laughs> Greg? In Corinus? Nonsense. Greg is out at sea after booty with some of the lads. The only thing that could bring Greg to Corinus would be one of the king's prison galleys. He's one of the most wanted men in the land. He'd never march into town voluntarily and have the royal guard throw him into prison. If you say so. Where's your pirate camp? See the cave passage over there. Go through it and continue west and you'll come to our beach sooner or later. That's where our log huts are. I can take you there if you want, if you do me a favor first. And what would that be? I'll have to get the boys some meat before I can go back to camp. You're a strong fellow. I could use your help hunting. Interested? What is it you hunt? Only alligators, usually. But they're no good for eating. And there aren't any left around here anyway. So I take what I can find. Swamp rats. What? Most beasts around here taste like old socks, or they're as tough as alligator meat. Those fat swamp rats are the only thing that is remotely edible. I need a bandit's armor. What would you do with that? It'll only get you into trouble if you're seen with it. Everyone's going to take you for a bandit, and they will try to kill you. Do you have any idea where I could find armor like that? We used to have one in our pirate camp. But I don't know whether it's still there. Tell me more about you pirates. We've been living here for years. Back before the war, everyone knew us from here to the mainland. Our flag alone would spread terror among the crews of merchant vessels. But those times are past now. It's been weeks since we've run into a merchant vessel. Our Captain Greg left to try and catch another. The rest of us are sitting here in camp, twiddling our thumbs until he comes back. I hope he'll bring back lots of booty. Let's go hunting. All right. With two people, that's child's play. Are you ready? Yes. Great. Just stay right behind me. <laughs> Nothing to be had there.
one less monster around. The Hollow. There should be some of those beasts around here. Follow me. Monster around. I was afraid of that. What? This handful of beasts here is only about half of what I need. Now we'll have to enter the canyon. Watch out. It's very dangerous deeper down in the canyon. If you hold your life dear, stay very close to me. What is there in the canyon? We avoid that area if it's at all possible. That's where you'll find razors. Tough beasts, those. Stay away from them if you want to live another day. Fine, let's go. All right. Come on. You're not from around here, are you? You seem to have traveled far. Busy? Don't even ask. Henry wants me to chop down all the trees here. Henry? He's the leader of our troop. He stands around at the camp entrance all the time, talking big. More dedicated service to the community and all that crap. But he doesn't lift a finger himself. Where's your camp? Just continue down this path here, to the west. You'll see Henry standing there soon enough. Henry is your leader? Yes, the leader of our raiding troop. Our captain is Greg, but he's not here at the moment. I need to move on. Hey! When you get to our camp, give Henry a message from me. The trees around here are damn stubborn. He'll have to wait for his wood a while longer. Tell him that.
one less monster around. You're a talented hunter. My goodness. If you continue like that, I'll be able to stay in camp next time. Here, take this swamp rat meat to lazy old Morgan. You'll find him in our camp. He's probably lounging on the beach somewhere. You'll be waiting for this. Henry usually guards the entrance to the camp and keeps a lookout for bandits. If he refuses to let you in, just tell him that I sent you. Maybe that'll make him a bit more sociable. Henry is a little too eager and a bit bossy too. Can you teach me something? Sure, I'm a good hunter and I can show you how to skin animals and pull their teeth. I'll teach you if you like. Teach me. What is it you want to learn? There is nothing else I can teach you. You have become too good. Always make the cut at the belly, or the quality will suffer. There is nothing else If you're looking for me, you'll usually find me near my camp in front of the Palisade. Palisades? Just continue west from here and you'll see what I mean. Wait a minute. I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. Give me the next focus. Of course. Here it is. Here are a few gold coins. You're in for it now.
Hawk, friend or foe? Foe. Asking for a good spanking, you clown. Tell me what you want here, or beat it, and fast. I want in there. Really? That'll cost you, though. 500 gold pieces. Huh? For what? Don't make such a fuss. There's plenty of stuff here in camp that might interest you. You got some gold, haven't you? What are you doing here? What does it look like? I must see to it that these miserable wretches gets the palisade built in time. If they don't, Captain Greg will kick my ass all over the place. Also, I keep strangers from traipsing in here just like that. Greg's your boss? He sure is, and as Captain Greg to you, have I made myself clear. He's a great man. If you meet him, be careful not to get on the wrong side of him. You won't live long enough to regret it. He's not in the camp right now, though. Francis is in command for now. He sits in front of Greg's hut all day and goggles at us working. What are you building the palisade for? We don't want to make it too easy for the bandits. Those bastards are getting more brazen all the time. They've been sneaking around our camp for days now, just like sharks after a shipwreck. Some of those good-for-nothings are holding up in the tower a little south of here. But that's only an advance party, I'm sure. If they're really stupid enough to mount an attack, we'll give them a welcome they won't forget. Why would the bandits attack you? Because there's war between them and us. What did you think? 
Everything was peachy at first. We brought them here, they marched right into their swamp and left us alone. But now, those bastards attack anyone who's not one of them. Heaven knows what's gotten into them. I reckon they may be after our boats. There's no other way to get out of here after all. You should ask Skip about this. He's been with him and barely got away with his life. He's got quite an interesting tale to tell. Too bad you can't hear it, though. <laughs> you haven't paid your toll after all. About those bandits in the tower. Yes? They're a history. Did you pull that off all by yourself? Respect! Maybe you'll even be a real pirate someday. Can't we come to an agreement somehow? Well, give me a good reason and I might make it cheaper for you. I'm supposed to bring Morgan this meat. Aha, and who sent you? Alligator Jack. He says that Morgan is already waiting for it. I see. Not in the mood himself, is he? Malcolm sent me. He says the wood may take a while. Oh, great, I might have known. It's taken forever again. Let me in. Hmm. You brought me a message from our woodcutters. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. And best of all, you got that vomit in the tower off our backs. I never thought you could do it all by yourself. A hundred gold pieces, or you just get lost. It's as simple as that. Good. Here's your gold. Thanks. Welcome to our camp. <laughs> if you were planning to sign on with us, lad, you're out of luck. Only the captain decides who gets to sign on in here, and he took half the crew and went to sea after booty. But you can stay until he's back, provided you don't cause any trouble here. Matters is strength. Hey, so tell me that. Same old thing, all over again. How are things? Francis, the camp leader, is I nothing but a clown. That. How can anyone take him seriously? Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. All that matters is strength. So don't. What have we here? A fresh uh, face, and not one of those filthy bandits. I hope. I'm all Garrett. If there's strength, anything so you need, me. ask me first. Uh, I can get you really almost anything. Better. Wine, weapons, Nobody and other stuff you might need, from me. except for booze. If it's a decent Same drink you want, go again. see Samuel. That's all Who's Samuel? Best. He's our moonshiner. He's got his cave on the beach, a little distance from the camp. You can't miss it. Just walk north. Himself. You'll be well advised to keep yourself supplied with grog. Me. Some of the boys here aren't very fond of greenhorns at all, all if you get my drift. A decent swig of grog can work yeah, wonders for you. Later. Where do you get your supplies? Skip always brings loads of stuff from Corinus when he visits there. Until recently, he used to sell some of it directly to the bandits. But since we've been at war with the bandits, I'm the one who ends up with all the stuff now. Yeah, he really said that. What do you know about the bandits? You'd better ask Skip about that. He's been through quite a lot with that bunch. Let me tell you, Greg has given orders to do away with any bandit who shows up near the camp. That's really not my problem. There was no big. Your captain, Greg. What's he like? He's a tough old bastard, and no doubt about it. And greedy to the bone. He makes Francis, our treasurer, pay out not a penny more than what it takes to prevent a mutiny. And if one on. of us ever gets his hands on something really valuable, he'll inevitably take it for himself. I once Tell took a that compass that. from a royal frigate. That bastard Greg made me hand it over, of course. Bah. He probably buried huh. it somewhere, just like the rest of his treasures. He would have never thought of that himself. Where might Greg have buried that compass? Greg once told me that Death himself watches over my compass. He to the wrong then he people. laughed. Anything else? There's a beach at the That's southern nice. coast. It can only be reached by sea. Is Greg is said true? to have been there often. 
Maybe you'll find something there. I once went there to see what I might find myself, but the area is teeming with monsters. If you really want to give it a try, don't forget to bring a pick. I'm not telling you anything. What can you tell me about Francis? Greg put him in command while he's gone. But Francis is a total failure as a leader. He can't even get Morgan to stir his lazy ass out of bed. Henry and his boys are the only ones doing anything around here. The others are just enjoying themselves instead of working. I can only hope that Greg will come back soon. He'll give them all a good swift kick in the ass. Tell me that. Anything new? Nothing ever happens anymore since Greg I'm left. Telling you anything new. Show me your wares. I've got no time for things like that. He listened to the wrong people. I couldn't care less. Nobody will learn anything from me. <laughs> It had to happen later. A newbie. And a landlubber at that. You're a bit scrawny for a pirate. Can you teach me something? Teach you? You bet. I could teach you to become stronger and improve your dexterity. But why would I want to do that? Because I'll buy you a drink. Not bad, kiddo. Got it. First try. But don't even bother to bring me some cheap rot gut. I'll get you some grog. Are you trying to poison me? I'm not touching that mock. Do you have any idea what's in there? Old Samuel has some good stuff as well. Go get me some of that. Have you ever tried Samuel's special recipe? No, not yet. Then have a go at it. It's a must try. How oh, I love this concoction. Anything new? Wait a moment. <laughs> Not as far as I can see. Same old, same old. New here, are you? Great. We can use every man. How are things? Right now. All's quiet in the camp, so I'm going to relax a little. And if I were you, I'd do the same. Since the bandits are here now, the situation may change faster than we like. What do you know about the bandits? You mean besides the fact that they're a deadly menace and outnumber us by far? Yes. They're rolling in gold. Well, at least they were rolling in gold. They never paid for their last shipment. But I doubt that it's because those bastards ran out of gold. Huh. <laughs> It's more likely that they've gotten way too big for their boots. Hey, fire this heat by the fire makes me bloodthirsty. Say, have you got some grog for me? He doesn't even know how to hold Here, a sword. take a sip. Thanks, man. I never knew that. What's up? I have to take care of this gluttonous crew here. You hardly and that's why I'm standing things. here day and night, slaving over a hot frying pan. I'd much rather be combing the I beach and the shallows for washed up flotsam. That's Last week, a, a fat time. merchant vessel hit a reef right off the coast. Really and all that problem. good stuff is washing up on the beach now. Well, I really mean, hope someone's going to take over my duty soon. Don't tell me you didn't know that. Anything else? Let those bandits really go can. ahead and attack. They'll never know what hit them. I agree with you completely. What have we here? Really Crossing the problem. path of old Skip again? I That's know been known you. A long time. The bay near the city, remember? That's not what I heard. Skip, right? I see I made That's a lasting impression. But I've seen your mug elsewhere That's in the meantime. My problem. But of course! That's been known a long time. Oh well, Do not a really great likeness, that? but it's certainly you. Don't let Didn't it get to you. you. My own wanted poster looks just as daft. You hardly know who to believe these days. What are you doing here? Hardly know who I've just come back from Corinnus, and now I'm waiting for Greg to That's return. Been known a long time. I saw Greg in Corinnus. Really? Damn. 
Something must have gone wrong yeah, then. He really said that. He should have been here with our ship some time ago. He doesn't see that. I suppose I, I should go back to Corinus and wait for him there. Oh, is ah, but Don't certainly not today. That. I only not just arrived a here. Time. That's been what can you tell time. me about the bandits? The bandits? They're yeah, attacking us. Why do you think we're building this palisade? That's we brought those scumbags like over here ourselves. We used to trade yeah, with them. Boy, sword. let me tell you, they've got more gold than they'll ever know time. what to do with. They were prepared to pay any That's price for a long bottle long of rum. But those times are past. That's it's war now. Gossip. What happened? Those bastards you, you really hadn't that. paid for their last shipment. So, I went there to see what had become of our gold. But when I got to the swamp, the yeah, swine attacked me. Sword. And that's not all. They killed he Angus and Hank, two of our best people. Just stay away oh, from that swamp, I tell you. Tell They'll go after anyone who doesn't look as shabby as they do. Have you ever met Raven? Certainly. When I was with Henry he, up at the gate, he really I watched that. Raven place some of his boys at the tower to the south, me you just a stone's that. throw from our camp. <laughs> I guess they're so supposed long. to spy on us. I've also seen how he it's treats his people business. when they don't do his bidding. He'll make Nothing short shrift of anymore. anyone who doesn't obey his orders to the letter. If he doesn't Mark see my that, words, stay well away from Raven. That was obvious all along. Tell me more about Angus and Hank. Knew that. Angus and Hank were supposed to meet with some bandits in front of the side. camp. They were carrying all kinds of supplies. Everything those bastards had ordered from us. Forged really steel true? and lockpicks and whatnot. But they Would never they came change? back. The bandit swine must have done away with them. Really Morgan true? and Bill went out to look for them without any success. Was Bill was pretty devastated. They were both That's friends of his. Time. He's still young. These things really Ever get to change? him. The rest of us took it in our stride. The myself. goods we can afford to lose. Uh, but the grog All they were carrying. Friends, so we're me. talking at least 20 bottles. Nothing amazes me anymore. About Angus and Hank? What? I found them. They're dead. Don't tell me you didn't dead as that. doornails. Poor devils. Well, it, it was only to be expected. Help? You should tell Bill, well, if you haven't done so yet. But break it to him gently. He's I still young. I Nobody need Bandit's armor. Me. You want to go in there? Are you I insane? Once those guys find out, you're not one of I'm them. You you're sausage meat. Do you have any idea I where I could find armor like that? Ah, that you don't give up easily, do you? All right. We used That's to have a suit. Greg's probably still got it somewhere, up That's in his hut. Maybe you can buy it from him when he gets back. That's really not my problem. Can you tell me how to get into his hut? I'm not telling you anything. Oh, there. <laughs> not so fast. If you weren't thinking of ransacking that, Greg's stuff, were you? When he left, he gave the key to Francis time. and told him not to let anyone into his hut. That's not what I heard. What can you tell me about Francis? Is Francis right is our treasurer. The captain trusts him. Yeah, he That's really probably that. why he left him in command. But none of the That's boys here really take time. him seriously. If you want to know more, talk yeah, to Samuel. Really He's got his still in the little cave north of here. There isn't a soul in this camp Samuel doesn't know all he kinds of things I about. I'm not telling you anything new. About that grog. You're missing 20 bottles, right? Yes, damn it. My entire stock. I'd have gone about it differently. Can you take me to Carinus? No way. I'm not leaving now. I'll oh, find myself a decent swig of grog first. I'm not telling you anything new. Have you got anything to sell? That's if you want to trade, gossip. go to Garrett. He's in charge you of our supplies. Will it ever change? Don't tell me you didn't know that. That's really not my problem. That's really not my problem. Hey, you! How are things going with you? What's up? Did Henry send you here? Tell him to get his planks as soon as I'm done. If he can't wait that long, he's welcome to saw them himself. 
What are all these planks for? We use them for the palisade, you dimwit. Greg thought it would be a good idea to secure our camp this way. We can save ourselves the work if you ask me. If the bandits are really planning to attack us, this ridiculous palisade isn't going to stop them. We should have never tolerated them in our valley in the first place. If I'd known all this in advance, I'd have stayed in Corunus. Can I help you saw? Nah, I can handle this by myself. I joined up here not long ago, and letting others do my work won't get me anywhere if you get my drift. You've been to Corinus? Yes, I kept myself afloat there, picking pockets and doing a little swindle or two. But whenever fewer ships came in, business got worse and worse. At some point, I got tired of being on the run from the militia for a few crusts of bread. That's when I joined Greg. Now I'm stuck here, sawing all day to build a palisade that's of no use to anyone. I found your friends. And? Where are they? They're dead. Those damn bandits did this. It's possible. Those cursed swine? May they roast in hell. <sighs> if only I knew the name of the lowlife who did this. That's all just Can you teach me something? Well, I could show you how to pick other people's pockets unnoticed. But you should be fairly dexterous, or you can just forget it. He really said that. Hm. I agree with you completely. Can you tell me something about Francis? Look around you. The only ones working are Henry and his boys. Morgan spends all day in bed or guzzling booze. No such nonsense with Greg. If you don't toe the line, he'll kick you in the butt, and that's that. That's been known a long time. How's it going? I can't complain, it's a bit boring, but at least I don't have to work. I'm preparing for the next task that Greg's given me. What task? I mustn't say. No offense, kid, but I've worked hard for the privilege and I don't want to lose it again. Can you teach me something? I'm sorry, I've got no time right now. I've got some training to do. Who around here can teach me something? Henry and Morgan are leading our raiding troops. They can teach you how to be a better fighter. Henry's people all use two-handed weapons. Morgan prefers the faster one-handed weapons. Who else? Beats me, I've never been interested in anything else. But I'm sure that Alligator Jack or Samuel could still show you a trick or two. Completely. You listen to the wrong people. I'm not telling you anything new. I'm here to deliver some meat. Ah, I need a, a sip to wake me up.
That's better. So again, uh, what do you want? I'm here to deliver some meat. From Alligator Jack? I remember. Right. The meat. Give it here. What are you doing here? Greg made me commander of one of the two raiding troops. I'm responsible for keeping the camp supplied. Alligator Jack sees to that. I'm also responsible for keeping those beasts you find out here well away from the camp. That's what the boys do. I told him I don't want to see a single beast left around here when Greg comes back. Do you ever do anything yourself? Hey, none of that lip. Mine is the most important task of all. I train my people. I make them into the best and most fearless fighters who ever sailed these waters. And it's not like the lads do all that work for nothing. They get a good sized bag of gold for their efforts. I want to join your troop. <laughs> my troop? My troop is hanging out at the beach. Those boys won't lift a finger until the captain is back. You can count on that. But if you want to show everybody what you're made of, feel free to work on the northern beach. It's full of lurkers and who knows what else. Take them on by yourself and you'll earn the respect of the people. Welcome to my troop. <laughs> I'll go lie back down. Wait a minute. What do you think of Francis? I don't mind him, as long as he leaves me alone. Isn't he the boss around here? <laughs> he thinks he's the boss. But at some point, Greg will return, and then Francis gets to go back to Sarin Plax. <laughs> About Angus and Hank. Oh, don't remind me of them. They probably got themselves killed by bandits. And Angus had my ring on him. Well, sure, it was his ring, in a way. He won it from me playing dice, but I would have gotten it back, and now it's gone. I found them. So tell me already, where are they? They're dead. The ring, what about the ring? Here it is. Yes, that's it, good man. Here, take this stone tablet. It may look like a piece of junk, but Garrett will shell out a lot of gold for it. Can you train me as well? Sure, I can show you how to fight with one-handed weapons. Teach me. Forget all that bullshit about honor and such. Either you kill him, or he kills you. Go lie back down. Ah, great idea. I can't read that.
Ah, a new face. What do you want, rum or something stronger? I want to talk to you about Francis. Just don't mention that wannabe captain. He sits on his fat ass all day acting important. We'd all like to know what the hell the captain was thinking when he put him in command here. What do you want from that prig? I must get into Greg's hut. Really? To do what? I need a bandit's armor. Ha <laughs> ha! Francis will never agree to let you go into the hut so that you can nab a few of Greg's things. Unless... Yes? You've got something he really wants. I know that Francis has hidden something in an abandoned mine in the canyon. Once, when we were on guard duty together and he dozed off as always, he went on about it in his sleep. I've no clue what he buried there, but maybe it's so important to him that he'll let you into the hut to get it back. <laughs> when the captain comes back and finds some of his things are missing, he'll have Francis's hide for it. I've come to get my ration of grog. You guys don't do anything without your grog, huh? Right. Here you go. I hope it... I've come... You can have as much grog as you like. I've... You can have a... I... You can... I... You can... You can... You... You can... I... You... I... You... What's new in the camp? Nothing much has been happening here since Greg left. Morgan and most of his boys have been just hanging around and boozing all day. The only one who does anything at all is Henry. He and his boys are building the palisade. It's high time for Captain Greg to come back and give that Francis a good swift kick in the ass. I want something stronger. Ah, a seeker. I'm always after new recipes myself. Decent booze should be clear and strong and burn your throat like liquid fire. You don't find that very often. But I'm talking too much. You want a drink? Here, my own recipe. How do you like that? I call it hasty herring. Ooh, impressive. <laughs> you can say that again. You wouldn't happen to know a good recipe for booze yourself. If you do, you must tell me. Want another? Give me some of your hasty herring. Rather vile muck, but effective. What else have you got? I can get you anything a pirate needs in order to survive. What's new in the camp? Nothing much has been happening here since Greg left. The only one... It's high...
The northern beach is all cleared. What about the cave? Have you been there too? Sure thing. Ah, great. You're a good man. Here's your reward. Is there anything else for me to do? Not at the moment. Go find yourself a bunk and have a decent bottle of rum. Ah, this is good stuff. Hey, you! Hey! What can you tell me about Francis? Francis? He's acting up like he's our captain, but just wait until Greg comes back. Then he'll crawl back under his rock and shrivel like a worm. He's pulling a fast one on everybody. If you ask me, I bet he's lining his own pockets. I didn't tell you this, and as long as there's no proof, you'd better not repeat this to anybody. Wait a minute. Anything else? Just as long as Greg comes back soon, I want to go back out to the open sea. What do you know about Francis? You mean, besides the fact that he's lazy and incompetent? Yes. Let me think. Hmm. Nope. That's all that springs to mind. Hey, you! Here you go. Ah, down the hatch like liquid fire. Teach me something. About that grog. Here's your 20 bottles. What? Really? Just like that? Well... Okay, I'll pay for them. Haven't you got anything more interesting than gold? Hmm, let's see. I've got this ring here. I won it gambling in a filthy dockside tavern years ago. Back then, the guy told me it was magic. No idea whether that's true. Maybe you want that instead of money. Give me the ring. Here you are. Hey! I want to join your raiding troop. Well, welcome to my raiding troop, then. One more fighter to help keep the bandits off our backs. Hmm. I should have said get one of the boys and smoke out those bastards in the tower. But you already did that. Can you teach me how to be a better fighter? Sure, why not? 